Hi, this talk is about our paper, Muzai, Efficient Text-to-Music Diffusion Models. Our paper appears as an oral presentation at ACL 2024. It is a joint collaboration with Flavio Schneider, Ojaz Kamal, myself, and Benha Shokopf. This talk will consist of first a quick view of our model's effect, followed by motivation, model details, results, and future work. To see some demo of our model, we can listen to two pieces here. First is an African drums. Now let's listen to another style, classical music. Apart from listening to the music, you can also check out our open source code at Audio Diffusion PyTorch GitHub repo, which already received a lot of attention. You can check out both the demo and the code in the following QR. Diving into the actual production of the paper, we start with the motivation. Basically, traditionally, we see the following challenges for music generation. First, it's about very high dimensionality, waveform in this case, to capture audio well. Second, it incorporates long context generation. So even if a piece of music is just several minutes long, it actually consists of a lot of um, little units of it. And you can see it by the sample rate, how many hertz the music generation needs. Then we also really require audio diversity. For example, as we have shown, we not only want African music, but also want Western music and also music in many different styles and cultures. Lastly, we also care a lot about training and inference speed. What are the current choices of generative models? Here we show three examples. First, many of us are familiar with the generative adversarial training GAN models, as well as the VAE models. And diffusion models is a rising trend in the recent years. It has shown very nice effect and it worked by gradually adding Gaussian noise and then reverse it to perform the reconstruction process. As we can see in this diagram uh, that's referenced from other sources. So we commonly know that for GANs, it uh, has high quality generation. It also has fast sampling, however, suffers from the lack of diversity and mo coverage. Then moving to VAEs or normalizing flows, uh, another generative method, both of them actually have fast sampling have a mode coverage and diversity. However, it doesn't really generate high quality samples. For diffusion models, uh, they, it, they have qualities that a lot of like music generation require, such as high quality and the diversity in the music types. However, it really suffers, like before our work, it suffers a lot from uh, efficiency and so on. To bridge the gap, we introduce our model details. So a normal diffusion model consists of its training procedure and inference procedure. In the training, it's mainly like a given a music sample or a given a sample of whatever modality and try to reconstruct it. In the inference case, it tried to like directly generate and output clean music in our case. So the type of diffusion that we use is the V diffusion, where V stands for velocity. Uh, and the 
uh, unit layer, the each layer structure that we have is a 1D unit. So we will introduce uh, how our efficient unit design differs from vanilla unit. So in the original proposal of unit, it was introduced for medical image segmentation. It uses an hourglass convolutional only 2D architecture with skip connections. It has relatively limited efficiency and speed. However, in our efficient unit design, it's suitable for audio segmentation. Uh, the novel unit design is only with 1D convolutional kernels. It has more efficient and speed as a result and can be applied on both waveforms and spectrograms. Diving into the structure, in the above, we see the overall um, architecture of diffusion model, where in each block, there is components of downsampling going through a couple of items and then upsampling and so on. So zooming into the component within each item, uh, we basically design the following pipeline. Uh, given the latent embedding, we first let it go through a 1D convolutional ResNet R, then followed by an M unit modulation unit to provide the diffusion noise level as a feature vector conditioning, followed by an attention item A to share time-wise information, across attention item C to condition on an external text embedding, and an injection item I to inject external channels as conditioning. So chaining all of these little modules, um, we build our music encoding by two, like we build our model by two stages where the first stage is about encoding the music uh, by diffusion magnitude audio auto encoding, DMAE in our paper. So here, uh, what we have is that we have audio signal as input, and then uh, we construct its magnitude and phase by a short time Fourier transform of the waveform with a window size of 1024 and a hop length of 256. Uh, after uh, having those uh, embeddings, and then we construct the latent um, uh, going through the general training procedure of diffusion models, first adding noise and then reconstructing. Uh, here, uh, also in the inference, we have uh, basically, like in the whole pipeline, we have basically an encoder and decoder. Also, decoder is used heavily in the inference where it decodes from the latent and so on to and try to reconstruct, try to get the waveform as output. Uh, then going to stage two, uh, text to music generation. So what we do here in addition to the diffusion model structure is that we condition it on text. Basically, we feed text as an embedding uh, and go through transformer. So the resulting text embedding, uh, the, the resulting final text embedding is conditioned during the training phase uh, in the unit structure, as we mentioned before. And then we go through the general diffusion training. Uh, and then in the inference mode, this conditioning on the same, the, the required text embedding is used uh, uh, across all the unit layers in the decoding phase. In this way, we're able to generate music that is highly relevant to the text that we condition on. Here we uh, also unfold how we implement that in the Python package on training and inference steps. Diving into the results, we can see that the first feature of our model is its large efficiency. So compared to the time, like compared to the models that were proposed before our Mosaic paper uh, in early 2023, we see that earlier models suffer a lot from 
a short context lens, namely like a short lens of music before the generation, um, like for the generation, uh, whereas we increase that to minutes long, minutes long music. And also for the inference time, a lot of models, uh, they have, they need hours or a lot of minutes of time before the inference is done. However, our inference time is uh, the same as the audio lens. Uh, moreover, not only we have not only do we have these advantages, we can also keep up to a sample rate of forty eight k hertz at two. Uh, apart from efficiency, we also look into different properties of the generated music. Uh, one property here is how the music corresponds to the text prompt. So according to the CLAP correspondence score, uh, our model performs um, uh, obviously better than the previous model refusion, which we can also ca calculate a CLAP score of. Uh, moreover, as we can see, as we have heard in our classical music example before, and I can have that as a background. Probably. Background now, you can see that obviously our model also has higher musicality where we have human annotators to annotate between one and five to check how the generated piece is like real music. Uh, and we see that it's melody, harmony, clarity, orality. Uh, moreover, as the uh, we also show here segment music by the time. Uh, and we can see that usually the beginning of the music is uh, lighter and then followed by a higher amplitude in the middle uh, and the peak. Uh, and we the music also end uh, low in the conclusion. So after going through the results, we will see how we enabled future work. As we have seen after the publication of our work, there are follow-up music generation papers that also cite our study and build on the structure that we have introduced. Um, and other than the impact in the music generation domain, we also see that uh, there are language generation uh, diffusion models that took insights and reference from our paper. To conclude, in terms of the contributions that we have made, there are fourfold. One, uh, first, we have proposed a text-to-music diffusion model. Uh, second, our model achieves long context and high-quality music generation. Third, uh, crucial to our model is an efficient unit design, which enables one to two weeks training on an A100 GPU. Lastly, we enable better music quality on 11 different metrics. For more details, you're very welcome to check our paper. Thank you very much.